The U.S. may be withdrawing its troops from Afghanistan, but on Sunday, it said it would continue to carry out airstrikes to support Afghan forces facing attacks from the Taliban. U.S. Marine General Kenneth McKenzie spoke at a news conference in the capital, Kabul. The United States has increased airstrikes in the support of Afghan forces over the last several days, and we're prepared to continue this heightened level of support in the coming weeks if the Taliban continue their attacks. The Taliban has ramped up its offensive in recent weeks and gained more ground in both cities and rural districts. The UN on Monday reported that nearly 2,400 Afghan civilians were killed or injured in May and June. It's the highest for those two months since records started in 2009. All this comes after U.S. President Joe Biden said in April U.S. troops will be completely withdrawn by September. That will put an end to two decades of foreign military presence there. McKenzie did not say whether U.S. forces would continue airstrikes after the end of their military mission on August 31st. He did, however, say that a Taliban victory was not inevitable. There are going to be hard days ahead, but there's a path that could lead us to a political solution to this war. Almost a year of peace talks between Afghanistan's government and the Taliban have had little effect on the war. And after a lull over a Muslim holiday this week, McKenzie said there would likely be a rise in violence.